Everybody, it's Tyler here at Manchester Week Zero, checking out team number 2370. iBots coming out of Vermont, and I'm here with Max, Amelia, and Sean. And we're detailing through this robot some, uh, of course, great intake going up into the index. They're actually kind of combined, so interesting to hear about that with a nice low shooter. We haven't seen too many teams do that so far. A nice climber, and we'll talk about everything that's gone into this robot all here coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, supported by Stryker Careers. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Competition season is here. Head on over to thebluelines.com to catch all the events each week. Don't forget to submit your clips of the week to discord.gg forward slash first updates now. Vote in the FRC Top 25 and play in our free fantasy pick'em. Catch fun shows live on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. So starting on this rollout, we're going to take a look at the uh, intake here. It's kind of a combo system with the uh, indexer. So curious to hear a little bit more about that and some of the iterations you've gone through as well. Yeah, so this intake's really interesting, as you said. Um, it's inspired a lot by our infinite recharge intake, actually. And uh, it's, it's kind of like what we had there, but with an extra twist of integrating directly with the shooter. Um, so when the intake's down, it'll just intake right over the bumper. Pretty standard stuff. But once it gets over here, that's where the fun begins. Um, it'll fall into our indexing chamber, um, which is uh, kind of a kind of a new thing uh, for us. We used to have intake uh, or indexer wheels here that would index the ball. Um, but you know, we realized as we went through the intake iterations that we can design an intake that'll act just like an indexer yeah. by simply spinning when it's up. Um, and it works great. It lets us hold two balls at once and uh, we'll just process that right through. It's been working pretty fantastic for us so far. So for you guys, when you're in a typical match, are you, uh, yeah. are you actually putting in the uh, intake down and up a lot with the pneumatics or do you tend to keep it down? Cause it's a pretty beefy intake that you have. Yeah, we usually try to put it up and down quite sure. a bit. Uh, that's why you can hear that compressor in the background um, running through those tanks there. Uh, we usually try to keep it up when we're not actively in in uh, intaking because you know it, we can cause damage to this thing. It's pretty robust, it's pretty yeah. beefy, but it's not gonna necessarily deflect like some other intakes will. It's just built to hold up and be real durable there. Well, one of the things, as I mentioned, your, your team has a low shooter, and it's something we haven't seen in a lot of robots, and I really like the positioning that you have for this, right? All the way in the back here, and I'm giving that nice arc. So who's gonna talk a little bit more about the shooter and that process on there? Perfect. So talk to me a little bit more uh, about that, that decision to have that low shooter and kind of shoot from the back of your robot, so to speak. Yeah, so we decided to shoot from the back when we looked at the um, game design video. We saw that where the balls were placed and we thought that it would be easier to have an intake on one side and the shooter on the other so it would make um, our cycles more fast and efficient. Um, and then for the angle of the intake, we played around with that a lot because we saw where the advantages and disadvantages of like shooting in different places in the field and we thought it would be more efficient again in our cycle to um, be able to shoot in most places on the field. Yeah. So we played with angles and RPMs of our motor and we adjusted, we, you see it's made out of wood and that was our most late, latest um, adjustment um, to the shooter. And so we can shoot right outside the tarmac and around the tarmac, but we also, if we put our bump, liner bumpers up with the hub, we have the ability to um, shoot in the low goal if needed. One thing I want to ask you is with, with the way that's curved, mm -hmm. uh, I would imagine you probably get like a lot of backspin on that. Have you had anything in regards to, have you seen like any of the cargo like bouncing out yet for you or uh, have, have you tried to try to mitigate that somehow? Um, yeah, we have seen that a couple times. Um, we, we've tried different RBMs like again to try to mitigate that in different positions. And yeah, that's basically what we've done, right? So it's a lot of tweaking, right? Yeah. Really good when we can hit it on the side and have it roll in. Yeah, and yeah, one of our main ways is hitting on the side and then rolling it in. Sure. Because sometimes just directly trying to get it in the middle, there will be more bounce and backspin. So that has helped a little bit also. Perfect. Well, let's uh, start to wrap up on this robot, talk about your uh, climber uh, that you have here as well. Uh, I love seeing custom climbers. Of course, a lot of teams are doing kind of the climber out of the box type kit, but your team has gone the custom route, and I love to hear the difference uh, between uh, if there's an interest between this claw and this claw, or is it just like one's missing right now? 
So, um, actually, in our last match, we had a bit of a mishap where we opened the jaws a little too slowly. Sure. So when we went and raised the whole elevator up, it hit the bar, and the bar kind of bent, and it snapped the oh, no. pneumatic piston the we had. The whole thing installed. off. Wow. Yeah. All right. So right now, we've got it set up with two zip ties as a solid, stable hook, which this is still going to act as a ideal climber so that when we go up and we will latch, this is just going to attach to it. So it won't be a problem. Yeah, I, I love the the mid competition thought change on that. I think it, you know, we'll see if it works out for you. I think it will, but uh, I think it's great to have that process of uh, thinking on the fly that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, so our elevator is pretty simple to understand. We got two sets of two by one aluminum box tube um, run by a Falcon motor on each end, and it's held in place by two chain tensioners that are bolted to a piece of box tube that just attach to the elevator and then the elevator will rise up and then the pneumatic pistons fire and it'll close on the bar and then we lift up and then at that point well let's see if uh, let's take a look at that process of it going up on there yeah so for your team when you're looking at uh, from a climbing perspective on here, where did climbing fall into the hierarchy of like scoring points versus shooting cargo? So at the beginning of the season, our team is very, very involved in deciding what we should prioritize. Yeah. So we knew that shooting balls was a, a must and we wanted to shoot low and high, which we built the capabilities to do that. And we also wanted to climb, but we knew that it wouldn't take much for everybody to get the rank point on climbing. So we just went for a mid-level climber. That way, it's really a team effort when we win. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Well, 2730 iBots, once again, thanks a lot for taking time to show off your robot and some of the features. Anything else you want to cover on here? Um, I don't think so? Well, we wish you best of luck here at the Week Zero event, of course, but really looking forward to competition season, just seeing what your team brings. Thanks a lot for taking the time. Absolutely. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. First alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.